Penocyte mediated uh, continuum model, we would suggest that as soon as the cells are activated, they are capable of producing nociceptive substances and that can create pain. So we see this most commonly in athletes who have some sort of mechanical compromise to the tendon, that is they've had some time off because of the off season, they've had time off because of an injury, they've had some sort of unloading event where the tendon becomes mechanically weaker. We put them back into a high load environment and we get acute tendon pain and acute reactive tendinopathy. I think we see that quite commonly. We also see this other scenario of reactivity on the background of an abnormal tendon. Now, if you have a look on the, uh, the circles down the bottom on the left, we have a, a tendon with an area of degeneration in it. And as we talked about, that that might be mechanically silent. So if we overload this tendon, the only tissue that we can actually overload is the normal part of the tendon. And this is where we get a reactive tendinopathy in the normal part of the tendon. And commonly called reactive on degenerative tendon. This is really quite common in our senior athletes. This is a little bit of evidence